Hello, everybody. Welcome to Learn English with Vasana. What a lovely day today. Aren't you right? It's a lovely day, right? Hmm? It's a lovely day. So what day is it today, Shiran? Huh? What day is it today? Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Yes, yesterday we learned a poem about the days of the week. Have you practiced that? Yes? Okay, then very good. Then you know the names, huh? Then you know the names of the days. Yes. Okay. So today is Friday, right? Today is Friday. Then, children, uh, what's the weather there today? What's the weather there today? Huh? Here it's sunny today. Oh my God! It was raining, raining, raining. <laughs> today it's sunny. Huh? What's the weather there today? Yes, sunny. It's sunny. Yes. Is the sun shining in the sky? Huh? Is the sun shining in the sky? Yes. All right. Then what a lovely day, no? Today you can play outside, right? Uh -huh. Do you like to play outside? Yes. Do you like to play in your garden? Hands up those who like to play in your garden. Hands up those who like to play in your garden. Oh, very good. Children, can we play on the rod? Can we play on the rod? Huh? Can we play on the rod? Oh my God, we can't play on the rod, no? Yes, okay, so don't play on the rod, right? Okay, right. So children, what time of the day is it now? What time of the day is it now? It's the morning time. It's the morning time. So before we start our class, we want to greet. Huh? We want to greet each other, no? Yes, I have already told you that when we meet a person, we must greet that person. If it is the morning time, we must say good morning. If it is the afternoon time, uh, if it is the afternoon, afternoon time, we must say good afternoon. If it is the afternoon time, how to greet the person? Yes, say good afternoon. If it is the evening time, how to greet? If it is the evening time, how to greet? Our kids, tell me. Evening? In the evening? When you meet a person in the evening, when you meet your friend in the evening or your uncle, your aunt, how do you greet? Hmm? Saying good? Evening. Good evening. Right, that's the evening time. Okay, then suppose that you meet a person at about uh, nine o'clock uh, at night. How do you greet that person? Huh? When you meet a person at about nine o'clock, how do you greet that person? Greetings, okay? We don't mention good night to that person, Sharon. Remember that well, okay? Good night is not a greeting, Sharon. Good night is not a greeting, okay? Good night is not a greeting, right? Keep it in your mind, right? When we meet a person, when we meet a person, we must welcome that person, hello, like that, no? Now, when I meet you, I just say, hello, hello, everybody, hello, my kids, hello, my dear parents, like that, I just welcome you, no? Huh? Yes, I welcome you all to this class, saying that, no? So, we don't mention good night, when we welcome a person, right? We don't mention good night when we welcome a person. If it is eight o'clock, nine o'clock or 10 o'clock, we just say good evening when we meet a person, right? 
we just say good evening like that all right but when you go to sleep when you go to bed or when you say goodbye to person uh, when you when you want to say goodbye to a person at night then you can say good night we are leaving good night but that's not a greeting okay uh, keep it in your mind right so greetings are good morning good afternoon and good evening only those three right only those three are greetings right good morning Good afternoon, good evening. Good night is not a greeting. Good night is not a greeting. Okay, so I'm going to greet you as this is the morning time. I'm going to greet you saying good morning. Hi, hi. <laughs> right, good morning children, how are you today? Good morning children, how are you today? Good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning children, how are you today? Now you need to reply me, huh? now you need to greet me too. Okay, right, let's greet teacher, are you ready? Good morning teacher, I am good today. Good morning teacher, I am good today. Good morning to you, good morning to you, good morning teacher, I am good today. Wow, very nice children, now you can say that well, huh? Yes, now you're very good now? My kids are very good now, you're so talented now, huh? <laughs> right, okay children, so mm, we learned some poems, Shall we say a poem today also? Uh, this is very famous poem and uh, I think uh, that is about you. Uh, this poem is about you. Do you know what the poem is? Do you know that chubby cheeks? Have you heard that? Chubby cheeks, have you heard? Yes? Okay, hands up those who know that chubby cheeks, that one. Do you know that? Yes, that, yes, in that poem, we just say about you. You have chubby cheeks. Show me your cheeks, touch your cheeks like this. Cheeks, chubby cheeks. Right. And where is your chin, children? Chin, dimple chin. Ah, chin is here. Chubby cheeks, dimple chin. Then rosy lips. Show me your lips. Lips, lips. Rosy lips. Then teeth. Show me your teeth. Teeth within. Teeth within. Curly hair. You have curly hair, no? Just curly, 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 curly hair. Yes, most of you have curly hair, not the straight hair. Huh? <laughs> you have curly hair, no? Curly, curly. Yes, curly hair. Curly, curly hair. Hmm, right. Curly hair, very fair. Ah, huh? very fair. <laughs> Eyes are blue. Lovely too. Teacher's pet. Is that you? Yes, yes, yes. So it is about you, no? Huh? It's about you once again, okay? Chubby cheeks, dimple chin, rosy lips, teeth within. Curly hair, very fair. Eyes are blue, lovely too. Tisha's pet, is that you? Yes, yes, yes. Mm, very good. And can you remember the butterfly song, children? Can you remember the butterfly song? That's a unique song. Huh? Yes, teacher made that song. 
So it's a unique song. You can study that. How to take the butterfly? Yes. Those who have Nibli Chai, how to make a butterfly, kids? Huh? You can take one hand forward and keep the other hand on that. And then lock your fingers. Right? Happy like a butterfly, no? Here? It can fly. It can fly. Right, okay. And what is the butterfly song, children? Butterfly, butterfly, where do you go? I go up, I go down, I go everywhere, searching flowers. Once again, okay? Right, take one hand forward, keep the other hand on that, lock your thumb fingers. It's a butterfly, okay? Can you understand how to make that? Once again, take one hand forward, keep the other hand on it, lock your thumb fingers. Oh, it can fly, right? Okay. Butterfly, butterfly, where do you go? I go up, I go down. I go everywhere searching flowers. Wow, right. So those who have newly joined uh, can visit my earlier videos. So uh, please subscribe to my channel, Learn English with Vasana. And then you can visit earlier videos and you can take the lessons. Okay, Putala, there I have done this poem, Butterfly. Right, so you can practice that with your army. Okay. Then let's start our lessons today, right? Hmm. First of all, today I'm going to show you one thing. Wait, 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 wait. Wow. Children, what is this? Do you have any idea? Hmm? Do you have any idea? Have you seen something like this? Huh? Have you seen something like this, children? Yes. Dilnet Kuta, are you there? Have you seen something like this? Who can tell me? Hands up those who can give me any idea about this. Hands up those who know about this. Huh? Yes. Okay, let's see who knows, right? Okay, raise your hands if you know, right? Raise your hands if you know about this, right? Okay, let's see who knows this. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Most of you know about this, no? Huh? Yes, most of you know, right? Okay, children. Have you seen the traffic lights? Have you seen the traffic lights? Or we just call it as traffic signals. Huh? Have you seen? Yes. Huh? Yes, when you go out, you may have seen this. Huh? Yes. Okay, children. Uh, so here, yeah. Then children, where are they placed, children? Where are they placed? Where can you see this? Huh? Where can you see this, children? Where, where, where? At your home. Oh, your home. Can you see these traffic lights in your home, children? Huh? In your home? My goodness, then your mom, Ami is showing that red light. Okay, stop your mom. <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, children. Yes, let's say your ambi to just keep the uh, colors like this and when she's <laughs> red means, <laughs> huh? she's, she's showing red, my goodness, that means she's fired. Then <laughs> right? stop to, your, to you and your tati. <laughs> stop for the <laughs> Right, no children, we can't see these traffic lights in our homes. We can't see these traffic lights in our homes. Then where can we see this? 
on the rod on the rod can you see this clearly yes right so where can you see these traffic lights children on the rod on the rod okay so they are placed at the rod crossings have you seen the crossings like this crossings junctions like this junctions intersections junction show me a junction like this junction junction okay right so at the junction these traffic lights are placed okay so at the hi darling <laughs> right so uh, at the junction these traffic lights are placed right okay then children why do we need to have these traffic lights huh? why do we want this children hmm? why do we want this on the road there are lots of vehicles no huh? what can you see on the road what can you see on the road what can you see on the road huh? yes vehicles there are a lots of vehicles going here and there oh my god moving fast huh yes vehicles move fast on the road huh yes no children right so these traffic lights these traffic lights are used to control the movement of vehicles movement of the traffic okay these traffic lights are used to control the vehicles just keep it in mind that part okay i need these traffic lights yes we need these traffic lights to control the vehicles control now mother is controlling you know huh saying don't do that don't go there oh my god don't jump don't run huh eat now like that your mother is just giving you the orders no ah like that these traffic lights these traffic lights give the orders to the vehicles if not my goodness vehicles go fast here and there at the junctions also ah huh? yes so lots of accidents may cause if we don't have these traffic lights if we don't have these traffic lights lots of accidents do you know that word accidents anathuru yes lots of accidents may cause on the road so that's why these traffic lights are placed okay children right how many colors do we have here children how many colors how many colors three colors how many colors three what are they what are they red yellow green once again red yellow green right who can tell me what this red light says who can tell me what this red light says huh what this red light says who can tell me the answer right hands up those who know the answer i'm going to check now hands up those who know the answer right okay can you tell me can you tell me can you tell me yes what does this red light say yes putana who can tell um yes? stop stop very good yes. stop very good very good children right okay so red says stop red says stop show me red says stop 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 right so red says stop right then what is the next color huh what is the next so when this uh, red light is on 
we have to stop our vehicles we can't go okay there are policemen so if we uh, if we Right. Welcome back, children. So we were just discussing about the uh, traffic lights. So when when the red light is on, if we move, that means we are just breaking the rule. No, we are breaking the law. Right. So we must not move when the red light is on. Right. Then what does the yellow light say, children? What does the yellow light say? We can't hear. Oh my God, Daniel, what is it? No. 